Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Vigil, The Longest Night, 100% water. through. So, before we continue to the catacombs, let's teleport. So, I have another way to get Chris to talk to me. I don't know if it's because of the bloody bone that I have, or something else, but... He's finally gonna give me the Bruna's Diary 3 again. So, we're gonna teleport to the valley, and... I was supposed to get Bruna's Diary 3 last episode, but he wouldn't give it to me when I picked up the Sacred Blood. However, he's gonna give it to me now. And I don't know if it's because of the bloody bone or what, or if it's because of the autosave glitch, because because when I did the autosave, I was at the cemetery before. So I wonder if me getting to the cemetery again allowed me to talk to Chris and get the Bruno's Diary 3 again. I don't know where it is, but he's given it to me again. So let's go to Graham's home. And I'm going to climb up. Run up these stairs here. Talk to Chris. So here's what he says. Get it away from me, unholy things. I don't want to- Please, don't make me- Blood. So much blood. Please take it away. It, it's yours. Don't let Graham know. So here's Bruna's Diary Part 3. If we go to inventory, we can read it. Let's sort. So Bruna's Diary Part 3. I almost got caught stealing, but I found the letter. Human experiments. Horrible. I need to find evidence in the cave. So I suggest that if you guys haven't got Bruna's Diary Part 3 yet, that you pick up the bloody bone and then talk to Chris. And then you should have all three parts of the diary so far. Or just do everything that I did in the cemetery last episode and, and then come talk to Chris. But I'm pretty sure it might be the bloody bone that re-triggered it for me. Because I don't know what else it would have been. Last time all I had to do was pick up that medicine, and then I talked to Chris and he gave it to me just from picking up that medicine. But for some reason that one episode he wouldn't give it to me. So I don't know. It's kind of weird. But yeah, I'm gonna head this way now. I'm gonna teleport right back to the cemetery. I'll make a few jumps here. And we'll speed run up this ladder. Or speed jump up it, I should say. Okay, back to the save. So let's teleport to the cemetery. And okay, so let's head down now. So we're gonna grab the rabbit ring this time. There's a secret passage up here. Oh, uh, let's get rid of these guys. We just got it inside that chest. It went by kind of fast though. So go to equipment, you'll see rabbit ring. Cooldown reduction 25%. i put that on. And let's go into the catacombs now. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for one more level up and then I guess I'll put some skills in after that. Let's get these guys. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's get him. If we go to inventory, I forgot to put the flaming magpie on. So I'm gonna use that as well. It goes like this! It goes pretty fast. It doesn't do a lot of damage though, that's the only reason why I haven't really put it on. The Hand of Shadow seems to be the best one so far. It has a fast cooldown though, which can be useful for comboing like that. So it's good for combos. Hand of Shadow is good for damage and trapping. Like this. Go into that. But um, I mean you can just kill just as fast as the axe. So if we go to Hand of Shadow, probably just use that. Because look, you can just go like this. And kill them all really fast anyway. Oh, he actually got me, what the fuck? Yay, leveled up. Let's go to skills. Put one point into power charge slash, one point into rip slash, and one point into increase arcane stat. Now our magic is going to be even stronger. The Hand of Shadow and the Flame and Magpie will both be stronger now. So we can also go up here, but watch out, there's a bat coming. Oh, I missed him. Get over here, buddy. 
Get get back here. Where are you going? That's not the right way. I hear him. He's hiding inside the walls. I don't know how he got there. There. Ritual daggers. These are better than the other daggers. I'm gonna put them on, especially with the arcane plus five, which is useful, but if you're on the dagger path anyway, since you'll have the daggers out more often. Well polished and preserved, their surfaces have been smoothed by eons of use. Okay. They don't have the special cross slash though. That move where you that move where you go like this and it shoots that beam of or that blade of whatever it is. Doesn't have that. That's okay though, we don't need it. Oh no! Shit! They just fucked up my... Maybe I can still- hold on. Oh my god. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to get up there now. I think I fucked it up. Shit. That's okay. So I did fuck it up, it looks like. Um, I can just do a quick teleport and come back here. So, Owl's Feather, if you fuck this up, just do a quick teleport. Alright, so when you teleport, we're going to go back to the catacombs and we're going to skip all the enemies this time. Just until we get back to where we were, except we don't want to go to the bottom. We want to make sure we jump the cages, because we have to get to the other side of the cages. So that we get a secret chest. So, skip all these enemies here. And down here. Now make sure you jump all these cages here. And there's a safe spot here where you can relax a little bit. Now prepare to double jump some more cages, so jump, double jump this one, this one, and get on here. So now we're on the other side, we're gonna grab this chest, Corundum ring. A ring with Corundum inlay, simple but beautiful and inspired spirit, defense plus 5. Now we go down here on this side, and this is where we grab that item that was right over here. So, oh, get ready, watch out for this guy. Okay. I'm gonna shoot. Watch out for those rolling fucking things. Just roll forward. Okay, I got him. Oh shit. And got them both. Interact, saw blade. Okay, I'm not gonna put that ring on. Okay, so let's go this way. Oh, we wanna go this way and grab a secret key. The head is carved to look like an eye. It's not clear what it opens, but it feels heavy and worn. It must be used frequently. So, we have a locked door in town still. I'm gonna try the key there first, and see if it opens that. Investigate. The piety of the individual appears to have a commensurate effect on the results. We finally have a test subject as close to a success as possible. She has actually maintained her original form. That said, I didn't expect that I would need to convince her to work with me. It's almost harder than finding a subject on my own. I need some sort of scheme. Perhaps a letter. And we get mysterious manuscript. Times two. Grab this. I don't know how you pronounce this, the closest I can come up with is Yellow Lith from the other god. That's the closest I can come up with. So Yellow Lith from the other god. These offerings were used in the forgotten religion of the older ones. Level up after use. Okay, let's go this way. 
Got more bats to take care of. What the f Okay, so there's just gonna be more guys that are gonna break down this floor, so watch out for that. Can that go all the way? No, it can't. I'm gonna take out my dagger so I can jump farther. There. Let's see if I can do this. And we made it. Oh, wrong way. Fuck. I have level up, nice. Iron arrow, salt blade. Let's put that into power charge slash. Now it's maxed out. Let's confirm that. Okay, so we can touch this owl statue. We'll get an auto save here. And we'll go up here, grab this chest, which is 200 gold. Make another jump up here. Grab a small simmer a small shimmer stone. And there's a so we want to go left. Should be an item somewhere around. I want to grab the item first. Okay, there's a chest. Ordinary ring. There it is. Now, just like all the other ordinary rings, the different color gives different stats. So this is defense 2, poise 10. Down here, I think, is a boss fight. However, there's still one more area that we got to explore. So touch the owl stone, get your autosave. Um, I'm gonna skip these guys actually. We wanna go down here. We'll finish this guy off. You can also get up here like this. Hold on. You can also get up like this. There. Okay. Let's go this way. Let them break the floor, and they'll follow them all the way down this time. Let them break the floor again. Oh, there it is! Fuck! Ah, uh, that's okay, we can kill these guys for it. Oh, we got him. Healing potion times two. Fuck. Hold on. Okay, he's dead. And grab the triangular shiver stone. I think that's all that was down here now. I think we grabbed everything. Let me just make sure though. Okay, so use the owl feather. Okay guys, so there's one more item that I forgot to grab. That I just realized that I don't have yet. So when I did my first practice run here, I found it. And sometimes I forget to grab stuff when I actually do the recording. So straight up here, but we have to wait for this guy to come down. Come on! Come on! Idiot! Oh my god, are you really gonna do this? Jesus. Hey! See me? 
I'm d oh my god. What a douchebag. I'm gonna get him like this. <laughs> I got him. There, now he's coming down. Nope. Shit. We can still do it. We just gotta go like this. There. So go up here. And let's grab this. Sauna's Coat. So this gives defense 6, poise 20, cooldown reduction of 10%. Now we can teleport. And we can use the Owl Statue and teleport again to the Smithy. Okay, let's go to the Smithy. Let's trade. I have a bunch of Saw Blades I want to sell. Just until I get one, because I want to bank one. And I'm going to sell some of these Beast Hunters that I don't need. Keeping my plus 3, obviously. I can't recall if I've already banked this all. I know I've banked the Bloodstained Shove already. Okay, let's go to the bank. This guy here. Oh, actually the Owl Statue is one too, but... So we have a Shovel in there. We don't have a Saw Blade in there, so I'm gonna bank one Saw Blade. Bank my Curved Daggers since I won't be using them anymore because I have the Ritual Daggers. I have a Skull Curved Bow in there already, I think. No, that's a Vigilance. Let me put the Skull Curved Bow in there as well. And my Slingshot in there. There we go. And Sauna's Coat, I don't really like it. I'm gonna bank it for now. Same with the gloves. Same with these ordinary rings, I'm banking them all. Every single one. Okay. Now, let's go this way. We're gonna go to Idonia's shop. I'm gonna buy some dynamite and stuff. So I'm gonna buy nine dynamite. I don't know if I'll be using it this time around. But the main thing that I want to get is down here into the professor's home, right here. And all the way straight down. Ta da! The secret key opens the door. We got it, guys. Finally. So let's investigate. Sloppily written note, the human body seems to react in reverse ways after crimson is injected. If injected directly into the eyeball, the eyeball dissolves. If ingested through the mouth or nose, the surrounding skin corrodes. An insertion into the ear canal causes immediate death. Investigate. Sloppily written note, cutting the skin and injecting crimson into the wound slows the mutation rate. But the process usually fails. Injecting into a blood vessel causes it to expand significantly. Spinal injections cause a slower change with varying results. This deserves more experimentation. Sloppy written note. If a limb is amputated and the severe stump is soaked in a diluted crimson solution, the rate of mutation is increased. However, the degree of mutation and the resulting size are impossible to control. If the severe limb is immersed in solution and then reattached to the body, it will immediately curl to the area. However, it seems to produce easily controlled mutations when connected to a different living organism. Extraordinary. Finally, investigate and get the bloody stamp. This is awesome, this spell. So go to your inventory, let's sort, and go to the bottom. We're gonna remove the flaming magpie for now. I am just gonna keep the bloody stamp and the hand of shadow on. I'm also gonna remove this. I wanna make sure that I only have items on here that I wanna use for the boss fight. I don't know if I'm gonna use dynamite, to be honest. I think I might just use hand of shadow since my arcane is really high. I'm gonna try hand of shadow first, and we'll see how that does. And okay, let's leave this area now. And let's go down this way to the smithy because we're going to teleport back. Oops, what the hell? I didn't even do that. All right, so teleport to the catacombs. Make sure you save your game, guys. Okay, so let's head all the way down. I don't know if I showed you guys a body stamp. It says, created by an unknown artisan, this item will rapidly consume HP over a short period of time to simultaneously increase attack power. I know you were listening. 
Don't ask me about Bruna, she is not important anymore. Because I have a better option now. Strong faith, young, healthy, special senses. I am very curious about your family history. I believe there must be something unusual. You are not the first pair of twin sisters in town. But based on the results I have, your family history and the old one's religion have much in common. For example, blonde twins allied with Satis and Loravi. The messenger family from the Skull Throne legend. The blind servant, all blonde twins. So, there are none like you. Your family is superior to others. You were chosen to ascend. You haven't killed me yet. Do you understand? Default. Let's grab this item here. The Scarlet Ocarina. Notes are updated. We have the gate to the other side. Got the Scarlet Ocarina. What would happen if I played this at the gate to the other side? Fine Daisy has been updated. Before he died, Graham told me of another girl. Could it be Daisy? I need to get to the catacombs. Now if you go up here, in the middle here, it says investigate. And if you investigate it... So here you are, vigilant. The gate to the trial is open to you. Come. Play the ocarina and face your end. It is time to complete the ritual. Alright guys, so I'm going to be doing this in the next episode, so I will see you then. Thanks for watching.